Good morning guys. It is like 8 in the morning here and I got some things to do today and I'm pretty much recording my first like kind of vlog if you want to say. I have wake up beard and I have not brushed my teeth yet and yeah so today I plan on going down to East Coast Supercharging to get my computer tuned and fingers crossed hopefully they tore enough of these GTOs apart to have extra master cylinders laying around. So hopefully I can figure out something with that. That'd be fantastic, but fingers crossed. Uh, or maybe they know a solution that I do not. But anyway, I'm gonna start off with some high calorie breakfast. Shake, 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 shake. Now the most important part, chalky milk. And then chick 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 And this is my breakfast, my roughly 700 calories, 70 grams of protein. I'm a bit of a gym rat. Gym time! So I'm gonna pound this shake and then get changed and then I'm gonna head down to East Coast Supercharging. All right guys, in the spare parts, spare bedroom. Uh, just going over a couple of things real quick. Got my new clutch system here. I'll be posting a dedicated video on how to set that up. Everything's adjustable on it from the, the master cylinder to the slave cylinder. There's a process to set it up. Eventually I'll get to a video on doing that. Uh, what else did I get that's fairly new? Uh, one of these drive shaft uh, loopy things. I gotta figure out how to put that on. Uh, when I went to a one piece drive shaft where the carrier bearing bolted up, I'm gonna see if maybe I could just, instead of welding this on, just drill holes in it and just bolt it in where that carrier bearing was for the two piece drive shaft. But I gotta look at the directions and see where this thing's supposed to go. Who knows? And did I get anything else now? Finally got the right bolts for my heads, so now I can actually start putting it together. And I think that's it as far as the new stuff goes. That's the throttle body. Yeah, but I got more stuff coming. I just got, uh, you know, finishing touches getting delivered. Uh, I got a new coolant tank. Got a new water pump, harmonic balancer, some assorted gaskets, uh, seals, like a transmission output shaft seal. We'll cover that when they get here. And I'll go more in depth with the... Uh, clutch master cylinder and slave cylinder when I'm ready to put that in. Let's start the drive to East Coast Supercharging, which is about three hours away. But I gotta do what I gotta do. I could just mail it to them, but screw that. Let's go take a tour of uh, some of the Corvettes and all the other fun cars that they have there. So let's get in the Toyota Camry. All right, I just hit the New Jersey Turnpike a little while ago. I'm about an hour and a half into my ride to East Coast Supercharging. So, oh, my little fuel light came on. That's not good. At least I don't have to pump my own gas here, which I'd rather do, but whatever. So yeah, hopefully I get a few things accomplished today. Namely, get my computer programmed for the fuel injectors and whatever other information they need to rough tune the car. I'm going to ask and see if they have any master cylinders floating around for the brakes. And then from there, I may take a ride to the beach house and uh, give you a little tour of the jet ski. My little uh, Sea Rocket it is a Sea Dew RXP 300. 300 stands for 300 horsepower. It's basically a racing jet ski. I wanted to do some modifications to it this summer, actually, this spring, but GTO budget kind of killed that. So, if we do make it down there, I'll give you a little tour. It's starting to rain. So, we'll see. We end up going to the beach house. So, yeah, I got about an hour and a half ride left getting to East Coast Supercharging. And uh, I'll update you when we get there. And uh, just to cover the pricing, uh, I called them yesterday. And they said it's about 150 bucks, or it is 150 bucks to. Uh, tune the computer that's out of the car uh, I'm gonna ask them about dyno prices and stuff so you can mail your 
ECM to them so that they could uh, so they could tune it for you. So at least that's good. Texas Speed recommended them to me. They like they deal a lot with them. Obviously, it's it's one of the bigger tuning and car building places uh, I would imagine on the East Coast. I've seen several other YouTubers that uh, that use East Coast Supercharging, so I would imagine they're very reputable. This is my first time dealing with them. The guy said it takes about 20 minutes to get all the crap onto the computer, so that's not terribly bad. So I'm taking a multi-hour ride just for 20 minutes, but that's the quickest way. It won't take three days, it won't take five days or a week to get it back. I gotta make a pit stop for some gas and then uh, probably pick this back up when we get to the parking lot. Alright guys, I'm about yeah, 15 minutes out or so from East Coast Supercharging, but I just got a rant. Just filled up my car with gas before, $47. Three years ago, it was $1.89 a gallon and $25-ish would fill up my tank. Elections have consequences. That is all. All right, guys, just pulling up to East Coast Supercharging right now. Hopefully I don't get douched by a car trying to get in. There's lots of Corvettes and Camaros, Cadillacs. What else we got out here? This is an old Corvette, an old, that's an old nice pickup truck. So yeah, there's a Firebird. I haven't seen one of them in a while. Uh, where do I go in this place? Never been here before. There's a Mustang, there's a bunch of stuff here. Jesus, there's a lot of stuff here. Yeah, I have no clue where to pull in. Man, there's some cool cars here. Got an 80s Camaro. Fuck ton of Corvettes. Oh, there's an old Camaro, nice. Some new Corvettes, some Dodges. Let me go inside and uh, get this taken care of. Nice, awesome. ZR1 Corvette. ZR1 just went by, a bunch of Cadillacs, all kinds of cool stuff, really nice. All right, let me run inside and deal with this. All right, guys, just left East Coast Supercharging, and yeah, it wasn't bad. It was $159, $160 after tax. To initially tune it, they explained to me that, well, a couple things. You'll see in the next video that comes out where I actually remove the ECM, but there's little orange O-rings on the top. Not O-rings, but gaskets on the top. Uh, take them off when you send them to them because they have to hook their computer system up to it and they got to take it off anyway so that belongs on the plugs itself and they also told me when the car is ready to be dynoed and stuff don't beat it or when it's put back together don't beat on it get it here well to them and then they'll they'll play with it and dyno it that's sad panda face mm -hmm. but you gotta put the engine back together and all that stuff. Uh, what else? The dyno and tune, they just said it was $600. So, New Jersey taxes, yeah, $642 ish. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Uh, I'm going to go get some food and I'm going to make my way to the beach house where I can show you my awesome little jet ski which probably won't be in the water until, if the weather warms up and stays warm, right now it's 68 degrees. It might be in the water mid-April. It also depends on the water temperature, that shit's cold. Let me keep driving, stop for lunch, get some McDonald's. I don't know, there's a Chick-fil-A on the way. See you at the shore house. All right guys, we are in the swamps. Almost at the beach house. Surprisingly, the temperature did not drop at all from getting close to the water. It's still 73 degrees out, but we'll see what happens. You can literally drive a quarter mile and there will be a 15, 20 degree temperature difference, which is insane. But so far we are holding steady at 73 degrees. I will take that for March. So be at the house in about five, 10 minutes and give you a little rundown of the, the jet ski and all the fun stuff with that. So stay tuned. All right guys, quick update. Just pulled up to the beach house and it's gonna have to be a quick one. So there's my jet ski, there's the boat. 
jet ski boat high water right there so i just got a call from a place that has a brake master cylinder for a 2004 pontiac gto they close at five it's just about three o'clock now and i'm damn near two hours away they're not open on the weekends and i have work this weekend priority has changed no tour of the jet ski we'll get that another time don't worry if you even care now i have to drive two hours away to try and get that before they close 50 bucks not bad let's check the quality of it i'm gonna see if there's some other parts there because apparently it's uh it's a big corvette junkyard but they have gto shit so we're gonna go check that out see if we can find anything else i'm gonna hit the atm get some cash in hand in case there's some other goodies there that i want and we'll go from there all right guys ventured out to pennsylvania got a brake master cylinder so hopefully this thing works and this resolves my problem contemporary corvette in bristol pennsylvania i just went into their little shop they had engines everywhere so if you need an engine they probably have it all right let's make the uh multi-hour trek back home i have a feeling that i will be going to the gym late today can't miss leg day never miss leg day for all you lazy fucks out there you do not miss leg day you squat, leg press, leg extensions, leg curls, stiff like a deadlift, you name it. Work out, get in shape, get in fighting shape. Even though I'm not that big. Even though I just got complimented on that, which is pretty awesome, but eh, whatever. So they had the radio, I think they call it a radio bezel. It's like that whole trim of plastic that goes right into the front. Apparently they have that, but they said it was 250 bucks. I found one new that my friend that works for a car insurance company found a couple months ago, but they wanted like five, $600 for that thing. But this place has it, so I may go that route to try and fix that part. Cause I, like I said, I've taken that thing apart a couple times, putting gauges in, putting radios in, taking radios out. And being 20 years old, the plastic is brittle. So that's something I gotta work on eventually. Yeah, so contemporary Corvette. Bristol, Pennsylvania. I called them early. East Coast Supercharging recommended them. I called them. They said, hey, when I get a chance, I'll call you back, you know, whatever. And they called back. Yeah, I got one. 50 bucks. I was like, okay, good enough for me. So now start the long road home and hopefully I get back soon enough to get to the gym because like I said, can't skip the gym. All right, so I'll, uh, I'll hit record when I get back home. I'll finish this little vlog that uh, I never thought I would actually do, even though I said it in my YouTube bio that I would do vlogs, which is something new to me, but whatever. Anyway, see you when I get home. All right, guys, just got home from my adventures all over the place. Successful day. Miles and miles and miles to spend $200. But got my brand new... New to me, brake master cylinder. I just checked it out in the car, which is sitting on the driveway all sad because it has no engine. And I got the ECU program, so now we can start putting this thing back together. I'm gonna, once I get the engine back together, I'm gonna start working on the engine compartment. I wanna get, I wanna get the new clutch master cylinder put in and get that, well, I can't adjust it yet. You have to adjust it with fluid. So I'll go through that whole process you do have to adjust it. You have to take measurements off the bell housing. So once the engine's put back together, I could put the engine on the lift, the engine hoist, and put the bell housing on and, you know, get my distances that I need. It's, it's a little bit of a process, but we'll figure it out. No big deal. I pace around my house because I'm friggin' loaded up with pre-workout. Woo, like day. Time to squat. Thanks for watching my first vlog, I guess, you know. And sorry I didn't get to show the beach house and the jet ski and the boat and all that fun stuff, but priorities, namely that. That was a priority. And they were closed tomorrow, which was a Saturday. I'll probably put this out on like Sunday or something, but yeah. Anywho, thanks for watching. Lots of stuff coming up and we're gonna get this thing running. And I cannot wait. So, see you on the flip.